How's it going guys? This is Etzer and welcome to GD Weekly, a weekly show where I recap the happenings inside the Geometry Ash community over the past seven days. Before I begin, I just want to apologize for being so inconsistent with uploading these things. There are a few roadblocks the past few weekends, but I'm able to upload these a bit more consistently. Um, I just want to thank you guys for being so patient, and I will try to be better about uploading these quicker in the future. So starting off, there isn't too much going on around the Geometry Ash community besides a few contests. We of course have the icon contest that me and Viper are hosting, where you draw your icons on pen and paper or in Photoshop, and then submit the icons to submitgdicons at gmail.com. These icons can be black and white or in color. The only thing we care about is that the icon itself looks amazing. If drawing isn't your thing, there are a few level contests going on right now. The first is a contest by Chief Flurry to be part of the Demon Mega Collab Kinos. All you have to do is build a 9 second part of a Cataclysm style demon and enter that into the contest. It's a much smaller contest than most out there, and since it's only a 9 second part, really anybody can enter. Viper is also hosting his own level contest with virtually no guidelines. Basically, as long as you include some rotation and the spider mode in your level, you basically qualify. If you want more info or the exact rules of both of these contests, go check out the videos in the description by Viper and Chief Flurry. Then some notable unfeatured levels I've seen in the past few weeks included Virtual Sense by Acrylics, a black and white level which although very simple has some nice block designs here and there. There's also Vibe by Adidas Boy, a level that has a very similar style to Optical. The level will start in 2.0 so I look forward to see a level made entirely in 2.1 by him in the future. Then there's Freefall 2 by No Name. It's pretty generic, but for unfeatured levels, it is one of the best for sure. Colorized by Simnicat is another cool level I saw, which did some really crazy things with the rotation trigger. And finally, my favorite level of the week has to go to Flukester's Dank, a demon with some unbelievably fast gameplay and really good sync. So those are my favorite levels of the week. If you guys want to submit your levels to be featured in next week's episode, there is a Google form in the description as always. Go put your level there and make sure to include your YouTube video or else I will completely skip over it. Moving on to my favorite content creators of this week, first we have a Geometry Dash effect creator by the name of Swirl. You've probably heard of him from a few mega collabs such as Alter Game X. Swirl is notorious for making the most insane gameplay mechanics or programs inside of Geometry Dash. For instance, in the past he has created a fully working calculator in Geometry Dash, as well as a rotating shooting star game using no rotation triggers as it was built in 2.0. More recently, he has been making a sound dodger replica inside of Geometry Dash, which in my opinion is very, very impressive. If you guys want to see Swirl's finished sound dodger level the minute it comes out, go subscribe to him. Every work in progress level he posts to his channel is absolutely amazing. Then one of the top musicians on Newgrounds right now has to be CSX42 Gaming. You've probably heard of him from the past when he converted his channel from Geometry Dash to music. He also had a part in Yadakarasu, the famous Demon Mega Collab. But he makes music now and is currently producing an EP. Some of the songs on it are really interesting with really crazy compositions. Of course, if you want to subscribe to either of these guys, there will be links in the description to both of them. Moving on to a bit of demon news, Black Blizzard is still unverified, however Crazy continues to grind on it, so progress is being made. Hypersonic, the third installment of the Sonic series, is nearly finished, a large mega collab following after Supersonic and Ultrasonic, two very famous 1.9 demons. Blade of Justice, another really anticipated demon, who was previously planned to be verified by Trusta, is now being passed on to Sonics, due to some boredom from grinding attempts by Trusta. A few days after this announcement, though, Trusta uploaded some gameplay of a very hard-looking demon, which could be a future project of his. But that's really just about it for these last couple of weeks. Due to rushing the episode just a little bit, I could not find a guest for this week, but if you are someone who wants to talk or be in the next episode of GD Weekly, get in contact with me or leave a comment below and I'd love to hear you out. Of course, if you're interested in anything that happened during this whole show, there are links to everything in the description. I'd also like you guys to follow me on Twitter if you guys want to stay updated on the GD Weekly happenings, and if you guys want to give advice for what you want to see on this show, please tweet at me at EtzerGD, there's a link in the description that will also appear right now. I want to make sure that I'm covering things that you guys want to hear about, so please just tweet at me there. But like I said, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for this week and I'll see you in the next video.